back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Carson. I've been a professional makeup artist for about six years and in the clean beauty space for about a year and a half. And I'm here on YouTube to help you figure out what's what in clean beauty. And today is actually a different kind of video. We're not in my studio, we're in my bathroom. And I'm gonna show you my nightly skincare routine. I've been doing this for a bit over <laughs> two to three weeks now, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but you guys, I've gone through a huge transformation in my skincare. I started with skincare by Hiram and before you knew it, I was binging Susan Yara from Mixed Makeup, Gothamista, and Leah Yu. And since absorbing all the information from them, reading really in-depth research studies on ingredients, I've completely cleared out my skincare. In terms of my skin type, I have normal to dry, sensitive, acne prone skin. And what that means is I can't just be going in with all the exfoliants and all the actives and all the fragrant oils. My skin will react to that. It will get irritated. It will get red. I find my skin does the best with gentle, nourishing, hydrating formulas. And anything moisturizing is great because I live in Los Angeles, which is a desert and has very low humidity. Discovering K-Beauty has been amazing for me. Not all Korean skincare does this, but from what I've seen, Korean skincare is incredibly generous with their formulas and very innovative in the kinds of ingredients they use. And they also have this emphasis on nourishing, gentle, calming formulations. For instance, using ingredients like Centella Asiatica, Niacinamide, Mugwort, just to name a few. I'm really still jumping into all of this. And by the way, they're clean formulas. They're just not circulating the clean beauty industry in the same way. And I find that Korean skincare also beautifully balances safe synthetic ingredients that make a formula really good and effective with safe plant extracts that are well studied and proven to really work for your skin. And they combine those two things together to create formulas that are affordable. Every single morning without fail, I go in with the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen, which is SPF 50 plus with a PA of four pluses. So this is really thoroughly protecting my skin. The biggest thing I've learned from my skincare journey has been you must must use sunscreen without fail. So with all of that said, I'm exhausted. Let's get right on into this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like any of the products I've talked about, if you wanna check them out, please use the links I post in my description box. When you use those links, you support me and my channel, and it means the world to me. I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's get right on into it. First, product I'm be using is this Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil by iUnique. It's so good. I really like it so much. And I do two pumps, sometimes three. And I have a full face of makeup on. And a double cleanse, for those who don't know, is really the most efficient way at removing your makeup and causing as little harm to the skin as possible. And this really breaks down the makeup. It's so satisfying to do it this way. I have three cleansers I really like right now. When I use cream cleansers, I noticed a huge improvement in how moisturized and hydrated my skin felt. I've been using the Ravenaut. This does have rose oil in it, so it does have a fragrant oil, but I'm washing this off so I don't find it too important. I also love the CeraVe Hydrating Cream Cleanser. And then when I want a little bit of a deeper cleanse, I use the Vegan Glow Mild Foam Cleanser. This is a new purchase. It's it's a K-Beauty brand, um, amazing ingredients, very gentle. I'm going in with Ronovat Cream Cleanser. I take about this much. I rinse my face in warm water, not too hot and not too cold, just sort of something that my skin won't freak out from. <laughs> I also like to um, 
blow my nose in the sink, get out any extra boogies. I don't always use this, but I have been using the Tower 28 spray. I just don't know if it's like changing my life. What has been changing my life though, seriously, life-changing product, is the Mugwort Essence by I'm From. I really truly thought that my skin type was just dry as hell and that was the state of things. And since I started using this, I've actually been feeling like, oh, maybe my skin has just been dehydrated. Maybe I do actually have like normal skin. I do literally like three drops and I rub it between my fingers and really pat it in. And I kind of rub it in too bring it down my neck. I do two layers of this. What's amazing about it is that it's 100% mugwort essence, which is known to be anti-inflammatory, very calming for the skin, very nourishing. And that's just like the name of my skincare game nowadays. It's interesting because my skin has been going through some stuff since I started using retinoid ester. This is my second week where I started using the A313 retinoid ester pomade. For more information on this product, check the description box. I'm putting up a blog post by the skincare edit. She does a really in-depth review on this. I'm using this in an effort to clear out my skin and get that baby smooth skin that I've always dreamed of. And then day and night, I've been going in with the Centella Unscented Serum by Purito. It has 49% Centella Asiatica. It's very calming for the skin. And this serum in particular reinforces the skin barrier with niacinamide, ceramides, peptides, and matic acid. So it's very gentle and I just love it to give my skin even more moisture protection. And I apply this morning and night same with the mugwort essence. And I've been seeing amazing hydration in my skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with niacinamide 10% with zinc 1%. It has amazing evening of the skin tone brightening effects. So helping with pigmentation from acne. It also helps strengthen the skin when you are doing retinoids. Um, I've heard a million different positive things about niacinamide. I don't think my skin needs it twice a day. I feel like once a day with a 10% niacinamide has been good for me. For cream, I'm going in with the Biosance Squalane Omega Repair Cream. I really, really, really like this cream. You do not need very much of it at all. I literally take that much and I'm someone that has always wanted to go heavy in the creams, heavy in the moisturization. Just been so nice. I really recommend it. It's a very basic, very beautifully formulated moisturizer. I'm going to put on top the pie rosehip oil. It's so beautiful. I honestly caved into buying this. Before the pie, I was using the Good Molecules rosehip seed oil. This is $10 and it's very tiny, but it is ethically sourced. Honestly, just caved because this is so beautiful. I do a few drops. I put on my palm and then I pat it in like you just saw. And it does have this orange tint. It does go away, but when you first put it on, I just feel like it gives my face some life. And... With that is my full skincare routine. I hope it's helpful to anyone watching this. Even though my skin right now is not 100% perfect and flawless and all the things, I just have to say that since consuming so much skincare content, I've completely stripped down my routine and I've kept it so simple and straightforward and I feel more clear-minded and intentional about what I am putting on my face. I also did want to mention, I still love and use my Maya Chia Refreshment. This has azelaic acid and helps turn my skin over. I still love the True Botanicals moisturizing, resurfacing mask. And then I also go in about once a week with either the 11% AHA Kombucha Exfoliation Power Toner by Youth to the People. Um, and yes, this is a sample that is lasting me so long because I only use a few drops or I go in with the lactic acid 10% by The Ordinary. I do also still use the Josh Rosebrook Advanced Hydration Mask when I want my face to just calm down. Anyways, I think I've talked long enough. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what your journey with skincare has been. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will see you on the next one. Bye.